Hello and welcome. My name is Kathy A. and today I thought I would show you some of my MAC lipsticks. Now I have quite a collection and I have several that um, I actually decluttered. I had the Nicki Minaj, uh, the wearable one, which was more of a nude. And uh, prior to that, I think I had one of the other ones. Uh, I, don't know. I may have had one of the Selena ones. And I don't know, I, I, I think I decluttered them years ago. So unfortunately, I don't have them to show you today. But the lipsticks that I'm using today are all available still, with the exception of the one I'm wearing, which is the Miley Cyrus II, which is a Viva Glam um, lipstick. Um, I'm also showing you, I have three lip liners from MAC. I have Barely Bold, Brick, and Dervish. And these can pretty much cover the full range of lipstick colors that I use. I also have three um, lip gloss type products from them. And when I have a lipstick that's um, a little warm or tan, I will put this on it and it will cool it off a little bit and make it a little more of a neutral color. These Dazzle Glass shades uh, have a little bit of micro glitter in them. And I also have Tangerine Tropica. I'll just put that on. Let me it's just the take Tangerine this off. Tropica. And this is really nice for a little bit of a glaze of specialness, especially over the the matte lipsticks. I think you get um, just a little bit more oomph, you know, when you put one of the uh, lip gloss shades over the top. Now this is somewhat of a conservative one. This one came in the winter collection. I think it's called Among the Stars. And I'm just going to show you that one. And this is just a lip gloss on basically a nude lip. So the lip gloss shades are pretty nice. Some of them are more pigmented and opaque than others, um, but I really just want a light shade of glaze over the top of a matte lipstick. So that's what I would use them for. So I basically have kind of a, a cool shade, a very warm shade, and then kind of a neutral shade and these seem to work really well with my skin tone and the lip shades that I use them with. What so I'm going to do is show you each of the lipsticks and I'm not just going to show you the lipsticks here in the studio but I'm also going to go out by the window outside and you can see what these lipsticks look like in natural light. Um, a lot of us have makeup shock when we go out into our car to drive away um, after we've done our makeup inside with you know, our bathroom light or our makeup mirror and everything looks fine, but then we get out into our car and we're like, oh my God, you know, gah, what is that shade, you know? It's a very different scene when you're outside with a lipstick on in the daylight than when you are here safely hidden with your makeup mirror, or in my case, some studio lighting as well. So I'm gonna show you um, my present makeup collection of MAC lipsticks, and I'll tell you what each one is as I do it. I'll show you in the studio, and then I'll go outside and show you what it looks like um, in natural lighting. This is Bare Bold as the liner. And this is Velvet Teddy for the lipstick. This is Velvet Teddy as the lipstick. And this is Bare Bold as the lip liner in natural lighting. This is from the Winter Collection, and this is the matte lipstick, Aspiring Star. This is the lipstick, Aspiring Star, in natural lighting.
This is the lip liner, Dervish. And this is the lipstick, Mocha. This is the lip liner Dervish with the lipstick Mocha in natural light. This is the lip liner in brick. And this is the lip color Ruby Woo. This is the lip liner in brick with the color Ruby Woo. And this is the most popular MAC shade of all time. This is what it looks like in natural lighting. Ruby Woo. Ruby Woo. <laughs> From the Powdered Kiss formula, this is Scattered Petals. Liner is boldly there. This is the powder formula, and it is called Scattered Petals. And I have Boldly Bare for the lip liner. This is the shade Mullet Over. In natural lighting, this is the powder formula shade Mullet Over. This is the Luster formula, and I think this is my favorite formula. This shade is called C Sheer. This is the shade C Sheer and this is in natural lighting. I have paired with the Brick Lip Liner 
The shade is called Cockney. This is a luster formula and it's called Cockney. I was hoping to like this because I'm really fond of these tenders. <laughs> okay, in natural lighting, it's a very bright red. This is the lip liner of Dervish, and it's actually the exact shade of my outer lips, so it works pretty well. From the Love Me lipstick formula, this is called Under the Covers. is a really pleasant formula. This is the Love Me lipstick formula and it's called Under the Covers. This is a little bit more on the pinky side. And I'm using Dervish as the lip liner. This is the Frost formula, and this was the holiday series, Fresh Moroccan. And this came with the pencil brick as a set. This is the Frost formula, and it's called Fresh Moroccan, and I bought this because it was in a set with a pencil called Brick. So this is Fresh Moroccan. And it is the Frost formula. This shade is MAC Red. Mac red. This shade is called Mac Red. And it really is a brilliant red shade. The formula feels really nice. This is one of the um, cream shine shades, I believe. This is the Frost formula, 
and it's called CB96. And I have it paired with the Boldly Bear Lip Crayon. This is the shade CB96, very zippy, um, bright frosted orange shade. And this is natural lighting. I have it paired with the Boldly Bare lip liner. This is the Liptensity formula, and this is the shade King Salmon. This is the Liptensity formula. It feels like a lip balm and a lipstick all together. The shade is called King Salmon. From the new series, the Patent Lip Paint this is lacquered up is the shade it feels very buttery this is the new lip paint and this is called All Lacquered Up. This is the lip liner brick and this is Viva Glam Miley Cyrus 2. Whoa, <laughs> this is a very, very bright colored lipstick. This is the Miley Cyrus 2, and this is the Viva Glam series that came out. Um, every year there's a Viva Glam lipstick, and this was Miley Cyrus 2. Proceeds from the sale of any of the Viva Glam lipstick goes to help with an AIDS project charity. So there you have it. Those are some of my MAC lipsticks. I do have a few others um, that are in transit at the moment. I had ordered them and they haven't arrived yet. So I was excited to show you what I had for MAC lipsticks in 2020. And I hope you've enjoyed this and it's been helpful for you in your own selection of MAC lipsticks. Everybody, I hope you're having a wonderful week and have a beautiful day. Take care. Toodles.